They're going to sell you that car, and you're not going to know it hit you. And we'll be back in just a moment. Coming up today on Live at 5, 13 cops from the 77th Precinct are arrested for allegedly shaking down drug dealers. A man given a life sentence for a rape he didn't commit is freed after eight years in prison. Betty Furness looks at some of the products the that have changed the way we live, plus new revelations about a secret U.S.-Iran deal. Actress Anitra Vance joins us. She's one of the brightest lights on Broadway. We'll talk to Betty Buckley. Tia looks at one of the best ballet troops of our time, the Joffrey. And Liz Smith has some White House Christmas tree ornaments after Donahue. I can make you a star. Really? Absolutely. Here, make up a song. With the Creative Music Maker, your kids can make up their own songs. Now play it back. I like it. Okay, now, you ready to sing it? On the radio. The Creative Music Maker, new from Fisher Price. Now about your image. America, you're working hard to stay in shape. You're pushing up, sitting up. Now follow it up with fresh Flora Gold grapefruit. Bursting with sweet, juicy goodness and mouth-watering flavor. Fresh Flora Gold grapefruit is a great way to get vitamin C and some very important minerals. So America, keep reaching up, pulling up, and shaping up with a premium grapefruit from Florida's Indian River, Flora Gold. Okay, quickly to John, all right. Um, the tapes are very good because I do know a blind person that used them. However, don't you think that's kind of detrimental to children because those kids that don't like to read or really can't read, it seems like it impairs them. Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, there are other audio tapes that are slower than mine. Of course, mine is a comedy novelty item. I think, uh, personally, I think there's no, no substitute for reading a book. If there's a physical handicap, uh, dyslexia, or you're blind and you can't actually pick up a book and read it, well, then these, are, these offer the perfect solution. I'm hoping what, what my tape will do is tell people, maybe it is a little crazy to stick Moby Dick at normal speed in your cassette machine when you can sit down and enjoy the book. Maybe that's going to say, you know, maybe these books sound, maybe these books sound pretty yeah. interesting. Maybe a kid will pick up a book and read it. Yes, ma'am. Um, Judith Martin, I wanted to know, how do you set your standards for... Hi. Hi. <laughs> Very I think you're high. fabulous. I think you're great. I read <laughs> the column you. in the Washington Post. How do you set your standards? Where do you get your information from to... Well, etiquette is basically folklore. That's why it's different in different societies and so on. We have broken with our tradition by saying everybody act natural. And so for some years now, everybody's been acting natural, and it's awful, isn't it? It's everybody's improvising, people are insulting each other, everybody out for himself. And so what I'm really doing is going back to the traditional good manners of Americans and then bringing them ahead to fit our times yeah. because new things happen. Can you wear chartreuse suits on the guys? I mean, is that a good idea or am I just no. getting old? <laughs> A gentleman, especially at a wedding, is supposed to be a background figure. It's the bride you're supposed to look at. And I get that question, I think we have it on the tape, of, well, now, how are you going to tell the bridegroom from the others? And the answer is, you look at his face. And if you don't recognize his face, the wedding should be off. Right. Well, uh, Judith, one more time now. A bride should wear white once is that what you're here to report to the nation no it is not the white wedding dress thing has become incredibly vulgar people think it should be truth in packaging and it should tell you what's happened to the body inside the dress that is not a nice thing to speculate about white uh, dresses are associated with the first weddings of young women and an older bride will generally wear something a little more flattering than that candy right. box look but I don't like this business of, do you have a right to wear white? You don't have a right to speculate. Uh, so I'm not sure about... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Um, you like making those well, little I'm remarks? Here's... No, here's my... In other we words, all know about her. In other words, a second marriage bride can wear a white dress. 
if she uh, understands... Now you're vacillate. Wait a minute, I'm not vacillate. I never vacillate. <laughs> if she understands that a lot of people are going to snicker about it because it is associated with the first wedding. Now, I'm not going to run into your wedding and say, take that off, you can't wear it. But it would be a little embarrassing, wouldn't it? But uh, it is traditionally associated with a first wedding. I'd like, to, I'd like to know how, as people putting this information out, you would feel about me running it, copying the tape, and then using it again. Using it again. Uh, you want in on this? You better one, get in on this, This is Martin. one of the real problems in the industry in terms of copying. I mean, everybody thinks they're doing their friend a favor. What happens, though, is the situation is that the money never gets back to the people who produce the tapes. And the difficulty is, is that these tapes are hard enough to get out and get distributed, which you said before. If the money doesn't come back to the people who created the tape, then there isn't going to be more tapes. It's a very simple matter. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to know what happened to the days when parents read to their children, when they talked to you know, their children. I, I've been wanting to react to this. Hang on, to this. I think there's a caller. Sure. Is there a caller on the phone? Yes, there is. Go ahead. I, I was just about to say what the woman just, just spoke up and said. Everything today with these VCRs, the tapes and everything is so mindless. I think any parent who has small children in their house is doing them a great disservice by having a VCR in the house. There's no more reading. Kids have so many reading problems. I, I have a child right now who's got a reading problem in school. Uh, the first thing they did, like the comedian there, they said, your child is dyslexic. I wouldn't accept that. I wouldn't just accept the first, you know, thing that came on. I took him to a, an eye doctor. Yeah. He does have a visual developmental act. Yeah. But, but, but I don't know whether, uh, incidentally, uh, for the record, in a very short while, in this decade, half the homes in the United States of America will have a VCR. Half. A VCR uh, is doing what, a, what we thought the home computer would do. You remember when everybody ran out and got a home computer because they didn't want their kid to be... And it's sitting there, isn't it? They're not using it. They are using this. But do you think anybody up here is really advocating that, you know, forget it, we don't no, want kids aren't. to read anymore? That's right. It does I mean, it's certainly the scholastic tape. I mean, that showed imagination. It wasn't really a reading exercise. Yeah. Look at these shapes, and you can make this shape into yeah. a parrot. Well, there are other learning I mean, exercises. Don't blame learn. the technology. The problem with child rearing is that people are looking for excuses. Well, they watch television. Let's tell, tell the kids to turn the TV You do off. the child rearing yourself, and the technology is just an instrument that you can use as you choose. Over here. I don't think that it's realistic to expect a parent to spend... Uh, 18 hours a day uh, giving her full attention to a child. I read to my child. I spend a lot of time playing with my child. However, there are plenty of times during the day when my child needs something to do. I put her in front, uh, maybe once a day, I'll put her in front of a, a cassette for an hour and she'll watch an educational but and she'll At least learn. you're in charge of what she's seeing and you're not, you're not at the mercy of a network who may or may That's not. Right, and also I might need some time for myself to do other things besides focus all my attention on my child. But Phil, one other thing you're not talking about, one other thing you're talking about teaching a child to read. I understand that and that lady that just called is absolutely correct. We're talking about comprehension. My son can read, he can read very well, comprehending what he read. And that's where tapes come in handy. Well, I just want to say about the dyslexic, I have a son who's dyslexic too. He gets the talking books from the Library of Congress, is encouraged to read along with the talking books. This eventually will help him to improve his reading skills. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. I just get insulted when social occasions center around a VCR. I, I think that the loss of conversation... You get all dressed up and go to somebody's house and you're watching the isolated replay of... That's an etiquette issue and you're quite right. Conversation is what uh, the entertainment is supposed to be socially. If you watch something, you're an audience, it's not a social occasion. What a lot of video product is trying to do, though, is the way it's set up, especially the stuff that's not just a theatrical motion picture, is it creates a reaction, it creates conversation. It should be something that stimulates. I want to ask the car dealer a question. Uh, I want to know if you could compare the rate of depreciation between American cars and foreign cars. Oh, yes, there's no question about it. Uh, Except for a few uh, isolated cases, the uh, foreign automobiles have been carrying much better in, uh, in resale. And uh, this situation should change. There is a definite trend towards American cars. And I think buying American cars today is worth it, not only for helping your country, but the resale of the American car is coming back strong. Yeah. Getting back actually to the child subject, um, I'm just concerned that a child is going not to have as much of an attention span when they can watch the video. Yeah. I would much rather my son play with the well, color forms himself yeah. than watch the You story. know what I don't want to be is your child's kindergarten teacher after five years of blah, 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 all this at computer am animation. How, how can a teacher compete with this? I, Who's going
going to hold the attention of a child who grew up in front of a VCR? I, I don't think that, uh, I think the two things work complementary. You're finding more VCRs in classrooms. I mean, the thing is basically an audio-visual device that can provide information. I it can also stimulate an interest in reading. I would not teach grammar school today without a big bird costume. <laughs> I think that's the answer. You have to, you have to use, use it the way you want to. A little bit of that and a little bit of that. Yeah, actually absolutely. playing with the color form. You can turn it off. Isn't that really a babysitter? Stick it in and sit the kid down and get him a box of cookies and get out of there. No, we didn't have it when I was raising my children, but I think they're wonderful for using that, but then turning it off and letting them actually play with the color form and do their own creation. Phil, so how did we learn three times seven when we went to school? We learned it from the teacher and the flashcards. Yeah. The subconscious mind computes pictures. And we'll be back in just a moment. There's nothing like waking up to my fresh baked cinnamon rolls. Ooh, let's pop the fresh dough. Hot cinnamon rolls. Oh, I can see them rising in the oven. Oh, oh that cinnamon. Oh, I see nothing in them. Oh, let's pop the fresh dough. Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. Oh, I can taste them. I just have to show you pictures of my trip. Here I am at Bed and Bath. That's me behind all those stacks of fabulous towels. What a selection. Every designer name. Pillows, bedspreads, comforters. I could have spent a week just in the sheets. Oops. Look at that view of China. Crystal. Housewares. And the people are so friendly. I can't wait for my next trip to Bed and Bath. After all, at prices that are always 20 to 40% off, who can afford to go anywhere else? Presenting McVote 86, the election for McDonald's Burger of the Year. And now, from convention headquarters... The big question here is, who's it going to be? It's up to you. This ballot booklet is a ticket, and McDonald's is the place to get it. Then, starting this Friday, every time you redeem your ballot, get a free McVote 86 glass. So come to McDonald's today and get your ballot booklet. McVote 86, it's the election of the year. Divorce, birth control, homosexuality, abortion. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. A growing number of Catholics today oppose the Church's position on one or more of these issues, yet many still believe they're good Catholics. In the name of the Father. The what Son. do you believe? Watch Ralph Penza's special report. What kind of Catholic are you? This week at 6 and 11 on Channel 4. For years, cats across America have depended on one of the leading cat litters, Johnny Cat, the premium cat litter. Johnny Cat eliminates odors on contact. Your cat depends on you, and you depend on Johnny Cat. So, when Mother Nature calls, Johnny Cat and a little privacy is all any cat needs. Look for Johnny Cat now at a store near you. I promise you we have no stock in this merchandise. <laughs> no kidding. But uh, you won't be upset if I just remind you again what we're here about. There's all kinds of videotapes out there for you to buy, commercially marketed, um, including a lot of how-tos. Jane Fonda leads the way, but look who else is coming along. Learn and play for your kids. Toy um, stores. Miss toys. Manners. Pardon the disrespect, Miss Manners. I didn't mean to do that here. <laughs> uh, but I've only got two hands. Uh, don't buy a car until you've seen confessions of a car dealer. All right, that's the young man here in the... Uh, Good-looking guy, too, I can tell you that. Beautiful. Uh, tackling football. Tom Dreesen hosts Tackling Football, a woman's <laughs> guide to uh, well, uh, hum football. Uh, hum and, hum well, I mean, they've already taken you on for, uh, for being sexy. Uh, <laughs> ten, ten classics in ten minutes. Uh, this, uh, John Mashita uh, checks in with this uh, attempt to make you smart about the classics. During the busy uh, schedule of your uh, of your day, are you there? Hi. Yes, I just wanted to answer your question on where the uh, football is placed on the miss foot uh, field goal kick is placed at the point where it was kicked at. It, no matter where I say. It's placed where uh -huh. the, ball, the point where the ball was kicked from. That's the line of. So the longest kick. So if you kick from 
the you, 50 yard line that's where it's left. Well, the point where it was kicked from. Uh huh, and you turn around and, and go the other way. My husband and I take these quizzes every Monday night on right. Monday night football. Yeah. And guess who can answer the rules? I can. Really? Oh, no. I really? Can rule. Yeah. And a tight end is a uh, position, not a condition. <laughs> I used to be uh, in some cases, I guarantee you. Yeah. Uh, well, there's I have some one more comment. Let me get Tommy in here. Okay, I, I like, here, here's the thing. They had a, a talk show, what really got me fired up on this. They had a talk show in Chicago of all the Chicago Bear wives. And they did not know some of the things that, that this woman just knew. The Sh bear, wives of the in Chicago fact, Bears. In uh, fact, the recent Monday night football but, game, the Bears, well, we'll talk well, about we'll that. Yeah. But, but, May I as a feminist defend this man for a sure, minute? Oh, very briefly, which is that uh, men talk in sports metaphors in business, and women have got to learn them to compete in the business world. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a very good reason for women understanding football. Right. Well, well, what, 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 a touchdown with that reply. Right. Right. One thing real fast. <laughs> yes. you, so, you're really blessed him on that one, Miss so, Manners. <laughs> <laughs> one thing real fast. One of the ladies in the survey said, you know what I don't understand about football? You congratulate each other by patting each other on the rear end, and you penalize them for holding. <laughs> I feel you shouldn't buy the warranty from the dealer. Oh, definitely don't buy it. Not on a new car. On a used car, buy it from the dealer. On a new car, absolutely not, because the manufacturer's warranty is the one to buy. The dealer is only covering things that aren't going to go wrong. It's the manufacturer's warranty that's going to carry you. Yeah. TV for children. Critics say it dampens creative processes. How do you speak to that criticism? We're designing our videos so that the child is asked to react. That's why we send it out with a toy, so that they're participating, so they don't become... Uh, you know, a, a, somebody who's just standing there blindly watching television. I think you can do that with video. You can't do that with broadcast television. I'm a union projectionist and uh, stagehand, and, and from you are fast becoming a running board <laughs> from Connecticut. That's kind of worrying. Huh? Well, I was just wondering, what do you think is going to happen to legitimate stage? You said theatrical motion pictures, meaning that's their origin, right? But also stage plays and so forth. What do you think the future is going to be for them and my job in 10 years? I, I think that one of the things that's happening is that you can see these plays on video. They get produced in, on stages. But you have and to then wonder. They can, yeah. You know, there, I used to be a I drama mean, critic. Nothing is going to replace really the theater. So? I promise yeah. you. In your pajamas watching first-run Watching movies? live people out on the stage is a thrill and has been for years. What about movies? Movie? What about movies? Movies. Movie. Well, will we have to go to a big theater with overpriced popcorn? No, no, movie you know theaters growing are growing the faster is, is than they have before. The I mean, they're putting up movie theaters all over the they, country. So don't they're worry, relax. Not, not, not only that, right. I think the, the, the video rentals stimulate people wanting to go to the movies. All right, John, John, not much time. Okay. <laughs> Gone with the wind. Gone with the wind, okay. <laughs> Scarlett O'Hara loves Ashley Wilkes, but Ashley decides to marry Miss Melanie, which is an after the party where Scarlett meets Rhett Butler, but she marries Charles Hamilton instead, who immediately goes to war and dies, along with just about everybody else, except for Ashley, who comes to Atlanta on leave and then leaves while the lights are burned, and Scarlett delivers Melanie's baby because Mammy isn't around to do it, and they all return to terror. Scarlett's mother has typhoid and dies, and her father's gone crazy, and Mammy yells at her, and everybody has to pick cotton because they're poor now. Then Scarlett kills a Yankee while Ashley is taken prisoner and is released and returns to terror because the war is over now, but they need three hundred dollars for taxes. So Mr. O'Hara chases the tax collector on his horse and dies, and Scarlett can't get the money from Rhett, so fiddle dee dee. Scarlett tells Frank Kennedy that his sister's well and marries somebody else, and Scarlett marries him and gets the money and also starts a successful lumber business with Ashley, only to get mugged one day to have the guys go to Avenger, which is when Frank gets killed and dies, making Scarlett a widow again so the Reds can finally marry and take her to New Orleans for a honeymoon, where Scarlett had a bad dream, forcing them to return to tower where Scarlett gives birth to a girl named Bonnie, even though she really still loves Ashley. Mammy yells at her some more, and Red gets drunk and wants a divorce, but he takes Bonnie to London instead, where she had a bad dream, forcing them to return to tower. Bonnie jumps on her horse and dies, and Melanie comes over to help out, but she's pregnant and dies. Ashley said he always loved Melanie, not Scarlett, so Scarlett decides she really does love Red after all, and Scarlett returns to tower where Red says to us he leaves her for good. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Which makes Scarlett say, tomorrow is another day. And we'll be back in just a moment. Moist Cat Foods Challenge Morris. Forget it. Not that. Uh, next. There's only one soft, moist mm. cat food good enough for the world's most finicky cat. Nine lives, tender meals. You're the one and only. You'll be sorry in the morning. I'm sorry now. I can't sleep. Take Somonex 2 with a non-prescription sleep ingredient most preferred by doctors. Helps you fall asleep 38% faster than without it. Somonex 2. Sleep on it. Ah. Don't lose your cool. Put your throat on nice. Ice or a sore throat? Nice. Showers minor sore throat pain and cough with medicine for temporary relief. Absorbs heat and cools your throat. 
feels slickering. Put your throat on nice. Honey, it's hard to convince me of anything. So when more of the dentists and hygienists here recommended tartar control crest for fighting tartar, I said, hmm, convince me. They said once ugly tartar scraped away, tartar control crest helps keep it away between cleanings. I tried it, and mmm, my teeth feel clean and smooth. Of course it fights cavities. I mean, the name is Crest. But I won't try and convince you. See for yourself. Tartar Control Crest with fluoride. The dentist's choice for fighting tartar. I guess I had to be 16, 17 years old before I saw Link Sausage. And I thought that's kind of peculiar. But then life's kind of peculiar. But I figured when we started making sausage, people eat it. We better make it. And we do. We we'll make the old-fashioned Link and the tender skinless Link. Now, you want to talk peculiar, we make a patty. And it's handy, but it's square. But all of them are the same high quality that made Jimmy Dean sausage number one, and they ain't nothing peculiar about that. What's your favorite shape of America's favorite sausage? There's nothing like waking up to my fresh baked cinnamon rolls. Oh, you pop the show. Oh, that cinnamon. Ah, I see melting in. Ah, oh, you pop the <laughs> Uh, my question is to, for theater and film. That's a big question, I know. A lot of people are... Okay. <laughs> question is, why can't we film these great men like Yul Brenner who are doing these great musicals He's and dead. get them on video? <laughs> for Yul. <laughs> so well, as a matter of fact, that's great, for our, that's great for archival. What? That's certainly great for an archival type of a thing to look it up, certainly when now Yul Brenner is dead, and they do have that performance on film, but the, nothing ever is going to substitute for sitting in a theater that's and true. watching Yul Brenner. Lie. If he's dead, you don't have that it's opportunity anymore. to do that. Miss Manners. Why can we not wear white shoes in April? Because it's wrong, and if you're going to violate a rule of etiquette, would you please find one that's more fun to violate? What? Uh, Grave digger, uh, what's uh, a handling charge? $100 shipping? What is that in a car? Oh, doc, uh, document uh, charges. That's uh, something the dealer just tax on there for simply writing up the order. It's Does ridiculous. he have to do it? Absolutely not. It's a gimmick to make more money? It's one of many, many gimmicks, and that's why this video can save thousands of dollars on a new car right. and can, hundreds of dollars on a Can an automobile dealer sell a car for below sticker and make money? Oh, he most certainly can. He's working on anywhere from 15 to 25 percent on the base car. Given the choice, I'd much rather my nieces watch a video of a movie that my sister prefers instead of her watching a mindless show. Yeah, very good. Yeah. I'd like to bottom line it. I think what we're really after is moderation and balance in life. I agree with you. Which, which has been the model of our lives, has it not? <laughs> Mr. Car Dealer, why are you doing this? I'm doing this for two reasons, really. One, I was paid for it. And number two, I pulled a lot of sleazy deals over my life. And this is one way to get back at the industry. <laughs> Tom, since your football is geared for women, would my 10-year-old son benefit? By watching Ab absolutely, it? absolutely, and so would your husband, because the men will not admit that they do not understand this game as much as they like to pretend they do. But it'd be very good for your son. Absolutely. John, would you throw us to a break, please? The Dining Show will be right back after these messages, so stay tuned. Some people go to a lot of trouble. I don't know how you do it, Bob. For a spaghetti sauce with fresh from the garden taste. That's why we made Ragu Chunky Garden Style Spaghetti Sauce, the chunkiest, freshest tasting sauce we've ever put in a jar. Bursting with the garden fresh taste of chunky tomatoes, tender mushrooms, sweet onions, crunchy green peppers. I don't know how you do it, Vinny. Ragu Chunky Garden Style, bursting with fresh from the garden taste. When people ask me what I do as a nurse for Girling Healthcare, I tell them about Mrs. Stanton and her recovery. People at Girling help make moments like this possible. You know, this room should be more together, more coordinated. Good idea. No, really, sheets, curtains, oh, blankets, look at Caldor. pillows. Come to Caldor this week and save 25% on picture frames in our giftware department. You'll find solid brass, silver plate, aluminum, ceramic montage, and poster frames in every size and every shape. And every one is 25% off. Beautiful. Out. What? Come on, get out. What? You're not coordinated. 
You'll never not find it at Caldor. Mama, I want to sing. The hit musical the whole family will love. Mama, I want to sing will make you laugh, cry, sing, and shout. But most of all, it will lift your spirit. Mama, I want to sing in its fourth mass year. Tickets at the Hexha Theater or call charge it 944-9300. you the human called Madge the Manicurist? <laughs> well, uh, that depends. We're here to tell us about lemon lime palm olive. If it's palm olive, I know all about it. Palm olive says wallop tough grease. And soften pants while you do dishes. Hey, that's my line. What's even better now there are two palm olives, lemon lime and original. What's original? Are you kidding? <laughs> I would just like to know the average price range. Uh, the special interest videos range anywhere from fourteen ninety five to nineteen ninety five. Some are twenty nine ninety five. I don't know about the these folks' tapes. Yeah. Well, mine is an audio cassette, so it's only four ninety five. Ten great books for four ninety five. That's forty nine and a half cents per classic. You're going to buy a new paperback for that much. <laughs> Will you let me just take a moment of self indulgence here? Today is the nineteenth anniversary of the Donahue Show. Oh. <laughs> wonderful 19 years as you must know and uh, we're looking forward to 19 more and we thank you for your support and thanks also for giving us a moment here to say hello to ourselves and ain't it been wonderful service i know you joined me in thanking our guests for a very good phone. program thank you all at the 740 turbo wagon by volvo until ferrari builds a wagon this is it True Value's own Harvard brand three-piece cutlery set featuring hardwood handles and stain-free steel blades is available exclusively at True Value hardware stores. The Drake offers an exciting weekend in New York at a special price, the only Swiss hotel on Park Avenue. For reservations, call 800-DRAKE-NEW-YORK or 212-421-0900.